Hey guys, welcome to another IndieTips.com tutorial hosted here on Ugly McGregor. This is going to be a very short and sweet video on how you can batch render files from After Effects. Now usually I would have my footage in Premiere completely edited. I would send it over to After Effects, apply the grade or effects and then send it back to Premiere to render out with the mixed audio. There may be some circumstances however where I only want one file brought into After Effects because maybe this one piece of footage needs a gradient tweak and bringing in the entire project would be a bit cumbersome. Everyone knows that to render a single file, you just add the comp to the render queue by going to composition, add to render queue. Very basic stuff, everyone knows this. Then to change what file format you want to render out to, you just select the output module and choose from the list of presets. The same goes for if you have two files. Same process as having one you can individually select what format you want the files to render out to. Now, the problem is, what happens if you don't have two files but you have 73 compositions that all need rendered out? Going through 73 individual compositions to change the format is going to take a lot of time. So to change this, very simply, we will delete the files, go up to Edit, go down to Template and select Output Module. Here it will bring up a pop-up box and we're going to click lossless. Now you have the option to change which format and what format settings you want the file to render out to. Now if we bring the, the compositions back in, they're all going to have the exact render format that you want. However, the next problem is the render folder. The files are rendering out to a folder called part 1. But let's say it's the wrong folder and it should be in part 2 which theoretically for the sake of this tutorial is on a different drive with a lot more space needed for the render. I will take the files out, I'll bring one back in, change the folder destination and then bring the rest of the files back and they're going to follow the same destination as the first comp. Done and dusted. That's how you batch render in After Effects. Until next time. 